guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I'd do a unboxing. It's not a sensi unboxing, it, it's an unboxing and a review of um, Zoella's new product. If you don't know who Zoella is, where have you been? But yeah, it, she has a new range out called Cosmos. And the idea is it's all themed around galaxies and stars and planets and I really dig that kind of theme. So I thought I'll give it a go. So just a little review. I've got the, as far as I'm aware, I've got the biggest gift set you can get which is the Wish Upon a Spa gift box. So also bear in mind, you know, it's coming close to Christmas if you know anyone out there who likes Zoella or you just want to get someone a gift set, um, then this might be a good one to get. What is on my bed? Crumbs and everything. So this is the box. It's pretty huge. I can't describe it, although it looks quite shiny from what I'm seeing. It is a really sturdy box and it's a good multi-purpose box so once you're done with all the stuff I'm sure you can keep this box and use it for other things. Not ideal if you're shopping like out in Glasgow and you have to lug this around with you. Probably ideal to pick this up last or you know if you're gonna have to travel on the train maybe don't because <laughs> it's quite big. So from memory, um, I could be wrong, I think you get eight products overall. One of the products is actually in my bathroom, so I'll just go and get that quickly now and show you it first. Guys, confession, my big fat foot kicked the camera stand, so if I look at a different angle, I really apologise, especially if it's not a great angle. My mum's out at the minute, so I can't... I can't get anyone to fix it. I'm hoping, I've had a good feel, I'm hoping everything's still, um, like you can still see everything you want to see, I just might not be at the exact same angle, so I'm really sorry about that. I'm trying to ignore it and just continue on. So the first thing I was going to show you in the box is this headband. I usually use this headband to push back my fringe when I'm doing makeup. I was long do a new makeup headband and I absolutely love this one. It's really nice material, really soft and silky and it's a really thick headband and when you wear it in your hair it doesn't threaten to slip back or slip down onto your forehead, it stays in place and it's really aesthetically pleasing with the little bow and I don't know if I'm imagining it but I imagine it to be dark, dark blue so it's like that perfect combination of cute and sexy so definitely I cannot criticise this product at all, it's great. The other non bath product, well they're all bath products but I mean the other non product you put in your skin is um, this muff. Let's get our chuckles out now, yes I call them muffs. It's just what I've called them for years and years and I'm not going to change what I call them. Um, there's not much to say, it's just it's just a scrubby muff and it looks, in this light it looks a dark colour, could be wrong though but if I was going with the Cosmos theme it would either be dark purple or dark blue but I could be wrong. So the first official product is the Zoella bath milk so I'll show you both sides in case it was back to front. Packaging looks quite shiny actually. Um, Bath milk. I didn't really have any feelings for the bath milk when I heard about it. I thought, oh, it's powder you put in the bath. I'm all for lush bath bombs that make your bath colourful and glittery. So a product that's just powder you put in your bath, it doesn't do anything to your bath water. I was kind of just like, mm, okay. But now that I can't see, I'm not so... I still like things that have colour, but I'm not as bothered. This product claims to be moisturising, so you, you put a, a generous amount in the bath and it kind of works the same way as a, a lush bath oil and it does, 
you know how that way when you're lying in the bath and you you feel your skin and your skin feels really kind of silky it definitely does do that depending on how soft you want to be if you want to be mega soft then you would put quite a lot in but if you wanted not so much then you wouldn't put a lot in it it is um what you reap is what you get what you sow is what you reap I don't know what I'm saying I'm trying to say. It's been a long day. I'm sorry, guys. Um, so, yeah, not much to say about this. It does what it should do. And it has the same scent through all of the products. I'll briefly go over the scent. The scent is it's very different from Zoella's scents. I only have one critique. Well, no, that's a lie. I'll have, I'll have a few more. But my biggest critique when it comes to not just this line, but all of Zoella's lines, all of her scents to me smell very similar. There's notes that are slightly different, but there, she doesn't go from a lavender smell to a bubblegum smell to a peach smell. They're all pretty much fresh smells with undertones of something so the the cosmos smell to me is like a fresh tone with kind of vanilla and mint scents over it which is definitely my kind of thing but yeah if Zoella's watching this not that she would be like it would be awesome if she could come out with like a bubblegum range or a fruity range because she came out with Tutti Fruity ages ago but Tutti Fruity didn't smell fruity it smelled fresh so yeah, every single scent is the same. That's my only other critique with all the scents. I kind of wanted maybe one to smell like men and them all to have slightly different scents, but it's the same scent in every single product. Except for, I think there is a shower gel or a body lotion called Peach for the Stars. I'm assuming that smells like peach because of the name, but that was not included in this box make out with that this is the body scrub i haven't used the body scrub yet because i'm going to be completely honest with you i'm not the hugest fan of body scrubs i find them kind of pointless it's like body scrubs when you're in the bath or the shower they don't it's not like a shower gel it's not there for cleaning you and it's not like a body lotion it's not there for moisturizing it's there they get all the dead skin off and i kind of I don't feel like I have dead skin that needs peeled off, so I haven't actually used this. But I, I think it's pretty self-explanatory and it has the same scent as everything else, so I've not got much to say on this. The bubble soak, the thing I was most excited about in this whole box, oh, I kind of have mixed feelings for it. First of all, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna be positive. I'm gonna start with the good points and then the things that really need to be addressed. The first good point is it smells incredible. Now it is the same smell as everything else. It's the same kind of minty, vanilla, fresh smell. But in the bubble soak, it's really, really strong. It's probably the strongest smelling product in this box, which is great. When you put it in your water, um, it also translates into the water. So your bathroom smells like that. Not not really strong like Lush, but your bathroom smells like that. And also, the main point is your water smells like that. I have a grape with a bubble soaks or bubble baths that don't, when you put them in the water, the smell completely evaporates and it, it you can't smell it on your skin or in the water. That's not the case with this. You can definitely smell it in the water and in the bubbles. Biggest complaint, and it could be me being a dum-dum, is it's called a bubble soak. Now, I don't know the difference between a bubble soak and a bubble bath. I would assume they do the same thing. They create bubbles. You have to put a buttload of this into your bath to get... A very measly layer of bubbles across your water. I'm not okay with that. I'm not one of these people that takes your bubble bath and goes all over the water. I'm not about that life. I'm very stingy. Um, I like my products to last as long as possible so I actually get anxious when I have to put like five big glugs 
of bubble soak into my bath, especially when the end result is a, a measly little thin layer of bubbles across the water. Now if that means bubble soak and it's just there to be a soak and smell nice and maybe relax your muscles then okay, cool. I'm sorry Zoella, I take it back. I'm a, a num num for not knowing the difference between bu bubble bath and bubble soak. But if bubble soak is just a fancy way of saying bubble bath and you were trying to achieve the, the bubbles, then girl, please up your bubble game. Like, I don't know how much this costs separately, but I can get a bubble bath, a redox bubble bath for a pound. It's bigger than this. And literally I can use half a cap and my bath is brimming with bubbles. Okay, the body whip. Again, I have mostly positive feelings about this, but it wouldn't be a review if I wasn't brutally honest. Again, has the same scent throughout. I think the scent in the body whip is slightly less strong because obviously of its creamy consistency, maybe the cream is making it less strong, which is, which is fine because you can still smell it. It's just, it's more creamier rather than minty. I like this body whip because it's a good consistency. I don't know if I can show you, but um, it, it's quite, oh, must have melted a bit. No, okay, so the top layer is very cream-like, but if you actually dig your nails in, it's solid. But it's not so solid that you have to rub it and rub it and rub it into your skin for it to melt. It's not like butter you take out of the, the fridge that's rock solid, but at the same time, it's not like tomato sauce, it just runs out, which I really like the consistency of. Um, when you put it on your skin, I'm just putting it on my skin now because I have some in my hand, and you rub it into your skin. And when you're rubbing it into your skin, it smells amazing. Like right now, I'm rubbing it into my skin, and all I can smell is that kind of vanilla -y, minty, creamy smell, and it smells great. I will say the more you rub, the more of this you rub onto your skin, um, the more the smell dissipates. If you just put it on your skin and then walk away, you can you can still smell it. Like if I if I waft my arm around, I can still smell it but it doesn't last for very long so that's my biggest gripe about the product it's great it smells amazing when you rub it on your skin but the smell doesn't last very long it lasts if you're lucky 10 minutes now when i put a body lotion on i want it to be like a more natural version of perfume when i put body lotion on i want to sit down next to someone and for them to be like oh you smell amazing, like that. that's what I want. So that's my only gripe with this. I wish um, the scent stayed in your skin for longer and it was a bit stronger. Okay, again, I'm not really sure the difference between body lotion and body whip, but this is Cosmic Girl Body Lotion. I'm thinking maybe body whip is something to do with the consistency. Maybe body whip is more of that thicker, harder consistency, whereas this feels like lotion, so this does feel like your tomato sauce consistency. Um, I don't, have I smelt this? I think I have. Yeah, it's the, it's the exact same scent. Honestly, I would either buy the Cosmic Girl body lotion or the, the body whip. I wouldn't buy both because in my eyes they're pretty much the same thing. It just depends what consistency you like. So if you prefer your um, more traditional body lotion then probably go for this one but if you prefer body whip then go for that one because the smell is exactly the same and um, the packaging is different you probably I can't say there's more in this than there is in the tub because the packaging is completely different and that is everything in the box so you can count how many products there is I've I'm not going through them all and counting. So my overall review of the box is, um, it's okay. It is okay. I, I don't know why I keep thinking when Zoella brings out a new product and she advertises it on her channel, I'm always like, oh that sounds amazing, that sounds amazing. And I always get myself hyped up for it to then be like, well, it was okay. Um, like I said, if there was maybe more smells, with this 
box specifically. I would have liked there have to been more differences in the products. So there was a bath milk, a bubble soak, a body scrub and two body lotions. I kind of felt like having two body lotions was overkill. I kind of felt like having one would have been fine and maybe you could have included in there um, a shower gel or Zoelle is very famous and one of my favourite products from hers which is the, the bath fizzers or even the body spray. I haven't even smelled the body spray and I want to because apparently I do love that scent. See if I was comparing just the scent on its own I would give it a big thumbs up because the scent is great. Um, so the box is worth £30. The, the, I think you're paying mostly for the packaging and all honestly. The packaging is good. But if there's anything in this box that you like, I honestly would recommend buying it individually. Unless there's like four things in this box you like, then you're probably going to be better off buying the whole box. So, yeah. The, my gripes about the box are there needs to be a more variation of the products. But the good thing I liked about the box was they have this new setup. And it's only with the Wish Upon a Spa box. You get a Lucky Star. And in the Lucky Star you get a special code. So you go to, tells you what to do and everything on the star. You go to Zoella's website, you put on the code. And you win something. And the beauty is everyone wins something. So i done it and I won a Maybelline Lash Sensation Mascara. You know, just a little thing. But it's still, it makes you feel special. It's really nice. Especially when you could be within the chance of winning like a year's supply of Zoella products or something like that. It, it's pretty cool. So overall, I'd probably give this box a, a three and a half. I, I'm really biased when it comes to bathroom products. I, I'd say, would I buy this again? No. I probably wouldn't buy the box again. But... I might buy the body lotion again because I really do like the body lotion or maybe even the, the bubble soap even though I complained about it. I do like how it smells. I just wish there was more bubbles. Anyway, I hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll talk to you in another video. Bye guys!